the updates that we've made in this hat compared to our last hat. Um, we're gonna touch on our first hat that we manufactured here as well. What's good everybody, it's Kenny Scoops with Three Scoops and welcome back to another episode of our product review video. Now today we have a very, very special item that we're going to be going over. It is a fan favorite. We get so many compliments on this particular item and it is nothing other than our Three Scoops crew member baseball cap here. So in this video today, we're going to be going over the updates that we've made in this hat compared to our last hat. Um, we're gonna touch on our first hat that we manufacture here as well. And then we're going to let you know kind of like the ordering process. So if you guys would like to do some wholesaling, get hats of yourselves, um, get hats made for yourselves, or also would like for us to uh, manufacture the hats for you, you have a little bit more background information on how to do that. But first, let's go ahead and get into this hat here and go over some of the uh, details for it. So very, very first thing that most people no notice about this is the raised embroidery here. Um, so we've always wanted a hat with the raised embroidery. We were able to pull that off on this one, but this was a larger logo, which did great. It's, it came out extremely well. We're very, very happy with it, but we also wanted to have that baseball aesthetic too. We wanted to have some simplicity to it, but also that level of elegance. So I want to say I sketched this T and the S for three scoops, maybe like two plus years ago it's been a minute um but I, I never could get the hat together or have like the hat manufacturing skill down pack to really move this this product forward the way i want it to um so once we found the right manufacturer and we were to go through the process which we're going to go through in a little bit we we're able to go ahead and knock that out as well so yes we have the raised embroidery here on the side also this is a corduroy hat as well so from the bill to the upper part um to the button here at the top all of it even on the back it's all corduroy and it's a very very beautiful clean finish i mean it just stands out right it's a, it's icy so a lot of people like that attention to detail there on the side here we didn't make this raised embroidery but we did put our signature which is crew member you guys should become a crew member by signing up to our um, online list you can find that in our bio if you go to our instagram um, but yes we added crew member here because we want people to know that you know if you're a crew member you're really winning that's that's the entire point right um so we have that there now on this hat we did take some customer feedback from our last hat because this hat here which is fantastic, no complaints on it really, but we have a Velcro and a customer let us know like, hey, we really want it like a higher end feel um, to the hat because we love it, but we just feel like the Velcro, uh, it could be a little bit better. So we definitely took that into consideration. If you challenge us, we're gonna go through with it if it makes sense. So on this particular hat here, we gave it a leather um, brass buckle strap on the back here. So you can see, you can we actually had a customer trying to lift this up earlier this week because they wanted to try it on and just i guess hadn't used one of these before uh but it's pretty simple once we were able to talk it through talk them through it but you just raise this piece of brass up here you can adjust the hat to whatever you know size you need um to go ahead and get it fit and then you push this back down in here and next thing you know you are good to go so we can just clamp this back down but yes this gives like a really good um just elegant feel to it, right? It's very classic. It also just makes you feel like this is more than just your typical hat um, because it has a unique finish on the back as well. Now, one of my favorite things in here, and you can't really see it too, too much, especially because I have the plastic in there as well, but we can go ahead and take that out. So one of my favorite things about this hat is that we did put a sweat blocker in here. Um, so if you, you know, if it's a hot day or you're, you're running a lot of errands or, you know, you're just moving around a lot and you so happen to sweat on your forehead, uh, we have a blocker in here that's going to catch and absorb that sweat. So it reduces the amount of, um, I guess dirt or, you know, um, body bacteria that is going to spread here on the upper. So it stays cleaner for a much longer time. So that was very, very important, especially using like a white. It is a bold move for a hat. You know, there's a lot going on in the day, but we definitely want to make sure we add that on the inside with the sweat blocker so you guys can have more longevity out of this as well. Um, I did have a customer, and this actually happened to my uh, myself 
uh, did happen to get like some dirt on it. So the way that you would actually want to go about cleaning this is you'll just take like some dish detergent and warm water and then a bit of vinegar. You go ahead and mix that solution. Take an old toothbrush. Make sure it's a clean toothbrush. So let me say that instead. Take a clean toothbrush um, and then just lightly scrub on on the uh, the hat as well. I would definitely not put this in the washing machine. I definitely wouldn't dry it. So just go ahead. Like I said, take some vinegar, some um, some uh, laundry detergent and warm water, mix it together and then just scrub it on where the dirt is and it'll get out. Cause I know like I've had someone get makeup on it. I've had like uh, just a bit of like debris from dropping it on the ground, just different scenarios that have happened over the past couple months that we've had this hat. And that's gonna be the best way to clean it there. Um, so this is our three scoops crew member uh, baseball cap here. That's for the most part, all the details on it. Um, next time we probably are going to add like a, a nautical rope with that. Uh, I had so many options and it kind of got down to it and I was still indecisive. So I went without a rope on this one, but for the next one, we're definitely gonna do that. And from this hat here, uh, the only thing that we didn't add, but you know, it's not as big of a deal because we did put a garment wash on it. We tried to put a garment wash on this hat, but for the corduroy, they, they didn't have that. Um, so we weren't able to do it just to give it a more like textured, weathered look. Um, because this one, you probably can't see it as much in the camera, but when you see it in person, it really does give like, you know, a very like textured, weathered, vintage feel look to it. Um, but it's a brand new cap. Uh, so we didn't add a sweat blocker in here. I just wasn't aware of it at the moment, but it's something that popped up into my mind because this was white. And I was like, hey, we have to make sure that nothing seeps through to the front. Um, so this one has been fantastic. Maybe I made this like almost two years ago now, I want to say. We only have a couple left. Um, so this is a great hat as well. But with this hat, we were able to make some updates that we think were, you know, very, very important. And just to show the progression of where we're taking the brand and always trying to keep things moving forward. So thank you guys for tuning in. Last thing we will leave you guys with here. If you want to embellish either one of these hats or any hat that um, you receive from us, we do have these three scoops pins here. Hopefully you guys can see that a little bit better. Um, but we came out with these for something in the water. So it had, does have our boat has three scoops on it, has our boat logo. And then we put a few extra details. You can see this on the website. Hopefully it pops up um, in this video here and it shows you like a closer uh, view of it because we do have really, really nice pictures. Shout out to Josh Boone for um, taking those for us at Josh Boone. If you guys want to check them out and get some photography done. Um, but the details for it is we have our tried it, of course. We do have a dolphin for Dolph. Um, and we're from Virginia Beach, so we had to add that. We have our signature three, we have waves, and we also have a sailboat, and then we have Virginia Beach on here as well. So it's a very detailed pin. Um, we can't wait. We only have a few left of these, not too, too many. We've been selling these like crazy. And then uh, we are gonna do a new one, so uh, probably not until next spring. So uh, yeah, get these while you can. It's definitely a hot commodity. But we appreciate y'all for taking the time to check us out. Uh, if you have any questions about you know making hats, definitely leave a comment in our um, below or you can DM us as well. Uh, if you want to get hats manufactured, reach out to us. If you want to learn the process to get hats manufactured, we'll probably do a separate video on that and talk about how you can get um, hats manufactured. Because like for these, I have a really good hat manufacturer. Usually you're going to have to get like a minimum of 50, but after working with them and doing so many orders, we have a really good relationship. So I can probably get you like 25, of two different colors depending on how much you're trying to vary um, and obviously the least amount of hats you get the higher the price is the more hats you get the more i can negotiate a better price for you but that's on a hat by hat basis depending on your design and things like that um, but if you have any questions and want to go over some manufacturing definitely reach out we're happy to chat with you about that we actually have a ton of wholesale orders we have to go over tonight uh, to get people's orders going so we can close out the new year um, in, a, in a high fashion so we appreciate y'all taking the time to, to wrap it up with us um, hopefully you guys learned something new today and caught one of these hats man we only got about three of these left and we have a few of these left and maybe about 10 pins left so make sure you tap in and get them while you can we appreciate y'all be safe out here and y'all have a good night